Everyone, we're here at Max's Cure. This is Chance, and I'm here with my man, Kualik. How are you, Kualik? All right, we're going to hear all about his story. How about mom? Tell us a little bit about our friend here. Kualik is a nine-year-old young man who's in remission from having brain, brain, he had cancer on his brain. And he's in remission now, but Kualik had a long, long two years of hard work to go through. Um, Kualik first got sick December the 18th, 2010. And we, he just got sick and we didn't know what was wrong with him. We thought he had a viral infection, but I kept taking him to the doctors. They kept saying it was the same thing. It really wasn't. So then after going to the doctor like four times, I took him to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and they gave him an MRI and they said he had a, a brain tumor and it was cancerous. They did the surgery on December the 20th and they told me that he needed to have chemo and radiation. Well, he, he was good after the surgery, but when he started going through, you know, the chemo and the radiation, he was getting really, really, really sick. He had a really, really rough time. But he's in remission now, and he's partially deaf due to the chemo. And he goes to school. He just started back school. And he's um, going to be wearing something that they call an FM system. It's for, you know... It's like he wear headphones and his teacher wear a mic and when the teacher talk then he can hear the teacher talk into the mic. So he, he still have a long road ahead of him and we're here with the Max Cure Foundation. We love them. They are such, 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 such a great help to me and my family financially. You know, being that we was going through so much with quality, I wasn't able to go to work and my finances was, was, forget about it. I couldn't pay my bills. I didn't have no food in the house. And that's where the foundation came in at. And they just really, they are really, really such a great help to me and my family. And we're just excited to be a part of them. Just, you know, just the thought of them being able to help us. That's, we, we, we couldn't be with more better people. Well, he is one handsome man, I'll tell you that. Kuali, how are you feeling tonight? Good. Are you having fun? Yes. A lot of real famous people here, huh? Yes. Yeah? Is there good food? Um, yes. Then it's a perfect night. Who's this guy next to you? Sir, who are you? Uh, Richard Plotkin. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, Tell us about your stuff. You're an amazing guy, too. Oh, thank you. It's uh, not as amazing as these people sitting to my left here. It's, I was an attorney for 40 years. My grandson, Max was diagnosed with cancer uh, five years ago. He's now in remission, but four years ago uh, I retired as a lawyer and my son and I and my daughter-in-law formed the Max Cure Foundation uh, for, that has two missions, number one, research, and number two, to help low-income families that are battling pediatric cancer. And currently we have 38 families around the country in New York, New Jersey, Louisiana, Florida, California, uh, up in Syracuse, New York, and Felicia's family is one of the families that uh, we're helping and it's a real honor to be able to help these wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, my son lived in New York City, two blocks from Memorial Sloan, and I knew the stress that they were going through when finances wasn't an issue. And I just can't imagine what families like Felicia have to go through when they have to battle the same disease that does not discriminate among socioeconomic classes, ethnicity, or anything like that. So that's basically what my goal in life now is to help families like Felicia's family and to do what we can to rid the world of cancer in children. What you've done and started has really grown exponentially. How did all the athletes get involved? Where did it become such a, an endorsed, I hate to say, charity? Because that's what really it takes these days for people to get noticed in the media. It's very important to have celebrity. And two years ago, we were introduced to Trent Tucker, a former New York Knick and Chicago Bulls, and I, uh, Christy Brinkley, 
uh, is very active with our uh, foundation because we helped a family that her daughter was very friendly with the, the young girl there. And frankly, from uh, it was Trent Tucker that uh, invited us to join him in the celebrity golf outing and the gala uh, that we're experiencing tonight. And, the, and it's just been a real honor to meet Trent. As a matter of fact, there are three low-income families in Minnesota where Trent is from that we're going to be helping in honor of Trent Tucker. But it, it was through the auspices of Trent and his All for Kids Foundation. And basically, his foundation helps low-income kids, you know, uh, attempting to give them the type of education. And he saw a real synergy with what we were doing, uh, also helping families like Felicia and Qualique. And, uh, and basically, the Patrick Ewings, Michael Jordans, Charles Oakley's, Herb Williams that you see tonight have been introduced to us by, by Trent. And, he's, uh, and, and also, John Franco is a very uh, big supporter of ours uh, from the New York Mets. What would be the websites people could look at to go and help from home who aren't here in New York or the places where you are? It's maxcure.org. M-A-X-C-U-R-E dot org. Uh, the foundation is Max Cure Foundation, uh, named in honor of my grandson, who's now nine years old and in remission and here this evening. Incredible. Can I see a hug? Can I see a nice hug here? Who's got the best mom? <laughs> you got the best mom, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. These are incredible people. This is why I do this. This really makes a difference. Guys, please go check that out. And even if you send a dollar, if everyone did, it would really help. Thanks so much, Chance TV. We're out.